If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. This famous Warren Buffett quote has inspired countless people to look for ways to hack the system and spend the rest of their days doing nothing while money flows into their pockets. Most people think that's what passive income is, although officially it's defined as earnings derived from an enterprise in which a person isn't involved on a day-to-day -day basis. But hey, even the technical definition sounds like a dream. So is there any way to turn that dream into your reality? We're living in a world where millennials are climbing over each other in a mad scramble to make it to the top, feeling like failures since they haven't earned their first million by the time they're 30 years old. You can see why passive income has become the wannabe millionaire's buzzword. But how passive is passive income, really? In the next couple of minutes, we'll debunk some myths about passive income, check out popular strategies for earning passive income, and see how easy it is to set up a passive income business yourself. Oi, stop dreaming. Come on, get out of bed. You're late to work. Sorry to rub it in, but that dream you just had is how some people actually live their lives. So what's their secret? Are they just extremely lucky or are they geniuses? The truth is that many of these people were clever enough to beat the system. They set up their own little money pumping machines so they can now enjoy doing practically nothing. The most important skill here is being able to separate fact from fiction, since most people don't think passive income and realistic go hand in hand. This is hardly surprising. With all of those scammy online courses promising overnight success everywhere on the internet, you know the kind we're talking about. The dreaded... These courses give passive income its bad rap, and that's completely unfair. Passive income is a viable option, but if you're just starting out, you've got to be very wary of get-rich-quick schemes. There are several massive red flags, clickbaity headlines, a complete lack of transparency, and unbelievable promises of high returns with minimal effort. They usually start with a free webinar, video or ebook with a title like How I Earned My First Million Dollars in Just Six Months. The author keeps promising to reveal their golden secret by the end of the story, but they stop just before they're about to spill the beans. It's the ultimate tease. To hear the juicy bit, you'll need to pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars. When you do, the secret might turn out to be not that juicy at all. More often than not, it's just a tired formula for flipping retail products, earning money through blogs, or selling your own services. And here's the mind-blowing thing. The scammy bit isn't the formula itself, but the claim that this one course will do all the work for you. On the other hand, there are thousands of incredibly useful online courses that teach people how to do pretty much everything. For example, a course can teach you a practical skill, like cooking, Here's the thing though, that course might teach you how to cook, but it's your willpower, effort, and the time you invest that will actually make that first beef wellington happen. The same principle applies to money-making courses, and they should be transparent about that. Oh, and there's one other cool thing about online courses. Instead of buying them, you can... Let's be honest, the market is filled with superficial courses that aren't worth a penny made by self-proclaimed influencers who use them to exploit their audience for money. However, making a legit, useful course is a whole different box of frogs. If there's a topic you're knowledgeable and passionate about, adapting it into a useful course that you're able to sell can be an excellent source of passive income. Many professionals who do this earn seven-figure incomes, which is no surprise given that the entire e-learning market is expected to exceed $300 billion in value by 2025. Of course, you'll have to roll up your sleeves and put in the hard yards to create the course in the first place. You'll need to shape your knowledge into comprehensible lessons by covering all the following steps. Thoroughly researching your topic, designing the course, writing the script, recording all necessary voiceovers, editing your videos, then investing into marketing. Just 
don't be spooked by claims that you need to be an early adopter to be successful. Sure, finding an underserved audience can be very lucrative. However, it's not the only factor to consider. As long as your course is a high quality one, it doesn't matter whether or not you're an early adopter, you will stand out from the crowd. Of course, one of the best ways to monetize this or any other information product is... Put simply, affiliate marketing is a performance-based marketing process in which a retailer rewards the platform owner for each customer referred via his or her platform. It's a win-win-win situation for everyone involved. The retailer's products get sold, the affiliates earn a commission, and the customers get the exact product they want. If you plan to earn money as an affiliate, the first thing you'll need is a platform with decent traffic. And that doesn't happen overnight. The most common misconception about affiliate marketing is that it's as easy as using some quick SEO hacks and simply buying traffic. But that couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, it takes a lot of effort to build a platform that attracts plenty of traffic. And it doesn't end there. Your audience will expect fresh and valuable content. Otherwise, they'll lose interest and you'll lose potential buyers. Once you have your audience's trust, promoting products becomes pretty easy. As long as you do it subtly, respect your audience and promote only legit products. Unfortunately, lots of affiliates fall into the trap of promoting worthless products for peanuts. Nothing ruins a good platform faster, so you should always make sure the products you're selling are worthwhile both for you and your audience. And while we're on the topic of online sales, it's not only digital stuff that can be sold on the internet. Let us introduce you to... Dropshipping isn't just alive and kicking, it's thriving. So how does it work? As is the case with affiliate marketing, you use your platform to sell products. But in this case, they're physical products. And although you're selling tangible goods, in most cases, you'll never even see them. That's because most dropshippers purchase items directly from a third party that ships products straight to your customer. Another key difference between dropshipping and affiliate marketing is that instead of earning a fixed commission, you determine how much money you get for each sale. Unfortunately, dropshipping is also notorious for passive income scams. No matter what anyone says, it's not enough to just display some products on your website and invest in a couple of ads. After all, about 90% of all dropshippers fail, not only because dropshipping is highly competitive, but because they often pick the wrong niche or use a dodgy platform. Experienced dropshippers will tell you that in order to make sales, you need to provide a top-notch user experience. This means you need to not only sell high-quality products, but you've also got to be seriously good at logistics, not to mention digital marketing efforts like pay-per-click campaigns. If you do this well, customers will love you for it. Remember, they probably wouldn't have found the product if it weren't for your website. Finally, if this is all too sci-fi for you, you always have the good old traditional way of making passive income. Many people consider investing the king of passive income generation, and rightfully so. In its most basic form, it requires you to do nothing but provide the initial capital and collect returns. Basically, you put money into well-known assets such as bonds, stocks and shares, then simply wait for the value to, hopefully, increase. On the other hand, if you're a professional day trader, investing is an active process that involves minute-to-minute -minute market analysis and split-second decisions. This kind of high-stress trading couldn't be further from our definition of passive income. But don't abandon hope just yet. Creating your own portfolio does take a lot of time, research and knowledge of some pretty complex investing terms. The good news is that once you get started, it's not only manageable, but as passive as can be. Fair warning, without the right knowledge, investing is practically gambling. Honestly, if you're that unprepared as an investor, you may as well just go to the roulette table and put it all on black. No, wait, red. Investing is such a complex topic that we've actually made a separate video just to cover the basics of investment banking. So make sure you check it out after you finish this video. Nothing like a shameless promotion, hey. So after all that, is generating passive income a realistic option? Well, yeah. Passive income is absolutely a real thing, but it only starts to flow in after a very active setup phase. Don't believe those $10 courses that promise overnight success. That just ain't gonna happen. 
As with all things in life, getting started is the hardest part. It takes a lot of effort and persistence, but once you reach a certain tipping point, passive income really can become a tangible thing. If you want to start generating passive income, you might be concerned about how much competition there is in this space. But honestly, we don't think that's worth worrying about. After all, millions of people Google how to earn passive income, but only a tiny fraction of those people actually put in the effort to make it happen. They say that generating passive income takes either time or money. No matter which one of those you have, the point is that you get to choose what you want to do with it. And really, there's no greater freedom than that.